Jack Flaherty, whose last few starts, he's been very good. The Orioles needed to make a move. If this actually is uh, official and executed, I, I love this for the Baltimore Orioles. What do you think? Oh, I love it. I mean, they needed an arm. I, I, Jack Flaherty's been in the postseason before. He's healthy. And Adley Rutschman is a game changer behind the plate, guys. His enthusiasm as a catcher and the love of the game is infectious. I mean, it, it, we cannot discount the impact he's had on that team. And so for, for him to throw his arm around a guy, and here's the thing I would throw out there about Jack Flaherty. When Contreras was going through all the struggles he had in St. Louis, he said, you, I'll, I'll throw it to you. Yeah. He took him, I'll throw it to you. <clears throat> you know, and that was, that's important to me when I'm looking at how does a guy fit into a club? I'll do anything you need me to do to help you win. I'll throw to you. Mm -hmm. That's important in my mind. What do you think? I must be Debbie Downer. Okay. Right no, I, I like I mean, you're talking honesty. about a, it's a it's a hundred plus ERA. He's 97 this year. He's a league average pitcher. I, I don't like the fit at all. I feel like they needed I needed that a veteran, but they needed that a veteran that was going to bring in understanding how to win. I don't look at him that way. I thought he'd be a great compliment on a team like the Dodgers. Got Kershaw, and they got Urias. And they got Lynn, and now he's my fourth guy. I think he'd be really good in that situation. Now he goes into a situation where he's going to be expected to be something that I don't think he is. So, you know, I'm not even sure that the young starters that they have in their minor league system aren't better than Jack Flaherty, so I don't love the fit. Yeah, I think they had to make this deal. And I get what you're saying about the fit, but with all their young starters right now basically up against innings limits, they were in trouble as far as holding on to winning the division, never mind making a run through the postseason. He's going to start a postseason game for the Orioles. He will. How many starting pitchers actually were available where you could say that? Very few. So their options, I think, were limited. The worst option they had was doing nothing, right? I mean, I, I agree. I, I this agree. This is a team I, I said coming in. They better get a starting pitcher before 6 the p.m. The only Look. pushback I'll give to you guys is that it's, it's 10 minutes to go before the trading deadline, so they left themselves with this option that he's the only pitcher available. There are other pitchers available to acquire. They've worked through the scenarios. Well, I, or they I, just I didn't it. want to pony up for the better pitchers that were available, so they ended up with what was left at the trading deadline. See, but I think also, because St. Louis is not New York... That's a big-time major league place to pitch. He's going to the American it, League East. Yeah, but the expectations of a Cardinal starter that was placed on Jack Flaherty when he went there, that I, I think he handles the pressure cooker. This isn't just some, oh, he's coming from the Midwest team to play here. No, he's, he was, this is supposed to be Bob Gibson. This is supposed to be, the supposed to be that were thrown on this kid. Helped him grow up. Yeah, but you can't. I'm sorry. You can't make him be something that he's demonstrated throughout his career. He's not. I'm not being critical here. He's a he's a big league starting pitcher, and he's a really good one. And he's still young. Yeah. All I know is if I'm in that Orioles clubhouse right now, and your fallback option was doing nothing, we got Jack Flaherty. I agree with you. Who, when he's right, and you saw those numbers here, his last five starts, can win a postseason game for you. I'm not talking about managing a game. Give me five innings and we'll turn it over to the bullpen. He can go win a postseason game for you when he's right.